வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் த ஹேண்ட் சர்ஜரி குவிஸ் த ஃபன் வே டு லேர்ன் ஹேண்ட் சர்ஜரி question number 1 type the name of this deformity and the correct answer is boutonniere deformity the boutonniere deformity is a flexion deformity of the proximal interphalangeal joint due to interruption of the central slip of the extensor tendon such that the lateral slip separate and the head of the proximal phalanx pops out on the dorsal aspect like through a button hole so this word boutonniere is derived from the french for button hole question number 2 identify the muscle marked x and complete the name flexor dash and the answer is flexor carpi radialis in the picture you can identify the ulna and hence the medial epicondyle and the mass of muscles arising from the medial epicondyle are the flexor muscles and the three superficial flexor muscles are shown the flexor carpi radialis the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi ulnaris question number 3 identify and type the name of the nerve marked by the arrow dash nerve and the answer is suprascapular nerve the suprascapular nerve arises from the upper trunk with a root value of c56 it gives sensory supply to the glenohumeral and acromioclavicular joints and motor supply is to the supraspinatus which stabilizes and abducts the shoulder and the infraspinatus which stabilizes and externally rotates the shoulder question number 4 type the name of one of the surgeons who described this flap in 1972 ian dash and the answer is ian jackson or ian mcgregor the groin flap which is shown in the picture was described in the british journal of plastic surgery in 1972 by ian a mcgregor and ian t jackson question number 5 identify and type the name of the pulley marked by the arrow dash pulley and the answer is oblique pulley the retinacular component consists of three pulleys the a1 pulley the oblique pulley and the a2 pulleys the a1 pulley is located over the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb the oblique pulley over the proximal phalangeal region and the a2 pulley over the interphalangeal joint question number 6 identify and type the name of this pulley dash pulley and the answer is a1 pulley to understand the position of the annular and cruciform pulleys we shall now draw a diagram this shows the metacarpal proximal phalanx middle phalanx and the terminal phalanx over the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint is the first pulley called the first annular pulley a1 the next pulley is over the proximal 2/3 of the proximal phalanx this is the a2 pulley over the proximal interphalangeal joint is the next annular pulley called the a3 pulley and over the middle of the middle phalanx is the next annular pulley called the a4 pulley and over the distal interphalangeal joint and base of the terminal phalanx is the a5 pulley 
the first cruciform pulley is between A2 and A3 pulleys and second cruciform pulley is between A3 and A4 and the third cruciform pulley between the A4 and A5 pulleys and that is the position of the flexor tendons within this sheath. Question number 7. Type the name of the person who described this condition of contractures in the hand. And the answer is Dupuytren. Dupuytren's contracture is named after Guillaume Dupuytren, who first described the underlying mechanism of action, followed by the first successful operation in 1831 and publication of the results in The Lancet in 1834. Question number 8. Type the name of the maneuver that this diagram represents. Dash maneuver. And the answer is Jazz Maneuver. This maneuver or technique involves flexing the patient's metacarpophalangeal joint and the proximal interphalangeal joints to 90 degrees. And then dorsal force is applied to the metacarpal head through dorsal pressure on the proximal phalanx. This positioning also stretches the collateral ligaments of the metacarpophalangeal joints and the stretched extensor tendons maintain the reduced position of the fracture. This maneuver is usually done for reducing fractures of the metacarpal neck or head. This technique was described by S. A. Jaz in 1938. Question number 9. Type the name of the test being demonstrated here. Dash test. And the answer is the Ekoff test or the Ishoff test. The Ishoff test was described in 1927 and is also a provocative test like the Finkelstein maneuver. But we need to be careful about performing this maneuver as it may cause extreme pain to the patient. The Finkelstein test consisted of just holding the thumb of the patient and ulnar deviating the wrist. But in the Ishoff maneuver, the patient is asked to adduct the thumb, place it on the palm and close the fist using all the other fingers. In this position, the examiner holds the entire fist and ulna deviates the wrist. Severe pain at the wrist will indicate a positive response. Question number 10. Type the name of the ligament marked by the arrow. The ligament of dash. And the answer is the ligament of Struthers. Struthers ligament which was described by John Struthers in 1854. This consists of a fibrous band from a bone spur located on the anteromedial surface of the lower third of the humerus otherwise known as a supracondylar process to the medial humeral epicondyle. This can cause compression of the median nerve and the brachial artery. I hope you enjoyed this session of the hand surgery quiz the fun way to learn hand surgery. Please comment on whether you found it difficult or easy and most importantly whether you found it useful. And please scan this QR code with your mobile to instantly access the YouTube channel to see the latest in learning hand surgery.